Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about dynamic column headers in Power BI. This is one of important project scenario I have implemented in my recent project. So if you are watching first time my video, please subscribe my channel and also like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I will provide a complete training of Power BI from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project scenarios with examples and each and everything I will provide here. So, in this video, I am going to explain about dynamic column headers, how exactly I have implemented in project. Okay. So, first of all, try to understand how we can able to implement the dynamic column headers. Okay. So, let me go to scenario. So, for example, I have a sales report. This sales report I have to configure to different clients. Okay, like uh, client A, client B, and the client C also you can take it. For example, for client A, I want to show the column name as country. Example, take one column name. Okay, same column I want to show for a different client. Client B, territory territory same column name for client c i want to show as country name okay so this scenario we can be able to achieve by creating the first of all query parameters query parameters we have to create whatever the columns you want to make dynamic you have to create the query parameters for that and second thing for this query parameters, use field parameter so that we can be able to achieve the dynamic column names or you can say dynamic column headers. Okay, so let me go to Power BI Desktop. I will connect to SQL source here. In my project, I have taken source as Azure Data Bricks. It doesn't matter which source we are taking. Okay. If you see here, Adventure Works DW 2022 and Northwind database, we can see these two databases. So, if anybody watching first time my video, please check class number three and four. In class number three and four, I have clearly explained how to download and install Adventure Works in SQL. Uh, same Northwind uh, database also. Okay. So here I am using Adventure Works is mine for me. So let me take uh, geography. One table is fine. Let me load data into Power BI desktop. Don't worry, it won't take much time. Now my table is loaded. Now come to the data view. Now you decided uh, for which columns you want to apply the dynamic column headers. For example, I want to go for city and uh, English country region name. Okay. So English country region name is nothing but here it is country. Okay. Fine. So now first what you have to do? We have to create the query parameters for this. Here there is option called manage parameters not required refresh thing. Let's uh, create new parameter. So it will be text right header names always be text. Okay. Uh, this is for country English country is name. I am just using Australia. Australia okay so any name you have to give by default name you have to give okay any spelling mistakes you can check you, you must give correct names let me check spelling is correct or not Australia is correct okay now I want to go for city I will use Malbar okay fine let's create the parameter You have to give exact uh, name. Hmm? 
so we can go for text malabar see here malabar now so because the data will be going to filter based on this parameter right so that's the reason we have to give exact malabar m a l a b a r you can check it here whether it is correct or not yes it is correct so okay fine so we given correct names now now uh, before closing so just enable this enable to load this is mandatory step and now close and apply now two parameters you can able to see here now what we have to do is we have to create field parameter for this query parameters so go to modeling and a new parameter field parameter you can rename as dynamic column names so parameter one take it and uh, parameter two take it i don't want slicer here let's remove the slicer just create it now drag and drop here cannot determine relationship between the fields see details okay so let's go to the dynamic column headers here name of right okay so here actually we have to give the country so we are using english country region name right parameters created for and uh, what else created city is created now just enter okay now you can able to see the data right so this is country parameter parameter 1 is country parameter 2 is city okay fine now so let me save as can save as somewhere wherever you want i will rename as dynamic column headers just save it and you can publish after publish we can pass the parameters in the power bi service this is the process and validate see here the I will publish Power BI name. Just select the workspace and you publish it. Okay, it is success. Now what you can do is you can go add at Power BI dot com. Let me open. Yeah, it's open. Now go to that uh, specific workspace, nine AM workspace, and here you can find. You can expand also. See this. Okay. So this is report and this is data set. Before it is calling data set. Now recently updated. So the name now they are calling semantic model. Okay, that is fine. Let's. Open the report in new tab. You can see parameter one and parameter two. Same thing, right? Okay. Now what you have to do is come here in that semantic model. Go to the settings. I am using gateway here, personal gateway, on premises. And data source, yes, there is no issue. It is connected here. Validated data source is valid. Okay. So, for example, now I am changing country. I am renaming here. We have to check whether it is working or not. Just apply. Yeah. Now, come to this 9 a.m. 
after applying the parameters you have to refresh check it is it is refreshing once refresh is done then refresh this report at you check it don't worry it won't take much time so once refresh will success then only you can able to see the changes here so this approach is not available in, in google also okay so i have uh, find the solution myself okay see here now just refresh this still it is parameter 1 and parameter 2 it is showing parameter names right okay so why because come here go to this field parameter so this parameter 1 we have to convert to uh, string okay so what we can do is first use convert we can convert any data type it should not be the blank value first the first whatever it is speaking first none blank we are going to use and the parameter and zero close the bracket then i want to convert to string this parameter i am converting to string comma now same thing come here parameter 2 also i am converting use convert First and blank parameter to comma zero string close. So now I converted these parameters also to the string. Just enter it. Okay. Now see you can able to see Australia and Malabar. Now publish with changes. Save the file. Power BNA name. Select. Just replace. Yeah. Come to Power BI service and uh, come to settings semantic model settings and uh, come to parameters let me rename as underscore country underscore city just apply the setting okay now once you apply what you have to do you have to do the refresh so this is important step if you forget it won't uh, apply the changes you have to after applying parameter names you have to refresh again so now refresh here see here australia underscore country malabar underscore country okay so in this way we can be able to achieve the solution so we can use the dynamic column names for different reports okay same report you can duplicate and you can give the different names for the different clients okay this is one of the toughest scenario i have achieved in my project okay you can also say this in interview you have achieved this is the scenario exactly scenario i have achieved so the solution is not available in Google and YouTube videos also. I have made this solution. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, if anybody wants uh, special training, you can contact to this email ID or mobile number. Thank you for watching my video.